Hi guys, it's Angie with Fun Endeavors Tie-Dye Lab. Today I'm not making a tutorial video. Instead, I'm showing you some of the color swatches I made for my Dharma Trading Company colors. I've had my liquid swatches for quite a while, but I started making some ice dyed swatches and I put them side by side and thought I would share them with you all. All of my ice dyed swatches I made by putting the ice down on top of the swatch, then adding the dye to the top. Most of the color swatches were damp with the soda ash solution when I applied the dye. And on some of the swatches, I didn't add quite as much dye as I did on others. But you can still get a pretty good feel for the color and whether or not it's gonna split. What I mean by color splits is whenever you take the powdered fiber reactive dye and mix it with water to make a liquid dye, the colors are mixed really well and it's one solid color. However, when you take the powdered dye and you sprinkle it over the top of ice or under the top of ice, that allows the colors that are in that main dye powder to split out into the component colors. Most of the dye colors do split. There are some what are considered more primary or pure colors. And on Dharma's website, if you look at the color name and then at the end of the color name, if it has like numbers and letters, Generally, those are colors which don't split. Like for example, lemon yellow, at the end of lemon yellow, it says yellow 86 or MX-8G. So you know that color is a color which is probably not gonna split. As you'll see, some of these colors have multiple color splits which come out of the dye color and they're gorgeous. Also, when you're looking at the color names on Dharma's website, if you see a T in parenthesis after the color name, that just means that it has turquoise in it. And sometimes to get turquoise nice and vibrant, it has to be in a little bit warmer environment when your item processes. I've tried to put the colors in the same order that Dharma has them on their website. I am missing a couple colors though in my collection. And I've also included some of the special order colors at the very end of the video, as well as some muck dyed colors, which I purchased from Dharma. Oh, I don't know, maybe a year or two ago. Those aren't available anymore, but I went ahead and included them just in case you happen to have them laying around as well. You can still buy the special order colors from Dharma in larger quantities, or you can purchase them from a Facebook group called Tie Dye Supplies Marketplace. Normally someone is selling the special order colors in smaller quantities out on that Facebook page. I'll put a link to that page down below in the description for this video. I also added one miscellaneous color at the very end, which is lapis. That was one of my favorite blues. And for some reason, Dharma's quit carrying it. Okay, enjoy the colors and I'll be back at the end.
So I hope you guys have enjoyed getting to see all the Dharma color swatches that I've made. And I'm working on videos for all the other swatches that I've made from the other dye suppliers that I use. So if you've enjoyed this video, I sure would appreciate it if you would like it. And if you'd subscribe to my YouTube channel, if you'll hit the bell, you'll receive a notification whenever I upload a new video. Thank you all for watching and I hope you have a great day.